Gareth Southgate um, protecting, Maguire. defending his lover boy, um, Harry Maguire. Yuck. He was raging. after, And I think there's a little bit about what you said earlier, uh, Craig, about sometimes when a manager mm. has a moment in a game and you ask him after the game and he's still full of this feeling. Like, he mm. knew I brought Harry Maguire on. The first thing Harry Maguire does is give away an own goal. And now I'm, I'm raging at my yep. mistake for doing that. So I'm going to vent by being angry at everyone criticizing Harry Maguire for doing what Harry Maguire does and it's my fault that he's even on the pitch but I'm going to vent at them what do we make about this whole Harry Maguire situation because the general complaint is it's gone too far it's not fair on Harry Maguire oh do you know what this this pisses me off I'm not going to lie like he has been trash let's call it what it is call a spade a spade he was criticizing the media as well not even just fans because we know fans are going to be fans they're going to criticize their play even Man United fans have been criticizing Harry Maguire but he started criticizing certain parts of the media for getting on to Harry Maguire and I personally I haven't seen anyone in the media criticise anything about Harry Maguire personally as a person not, not mainstream it's media. only been his performances and why is he getting selected for England which is completely fair because when you're looking at it there are other players that are playing more minutes than Harry Maguire and maybe not playing great, mm. but they're not getting selected. They're getting overlooked. This is a man that is not even playing for his mm. club. Like for me, I think like what you said to begin with, Southgate is just trying to justify his decision, understands that, you know, all right, maybe six months ago when he was picking Maguire, we were kind of given a defense because we were saying he played well for England. Yeah. He's done well. Now it's like he's scoring own goal. Can I, can I read the exact quote? I, I, so it said, I've never known a player treated w the way he is by our own pundits. It's beyond anything I've ever seen. Um, now, this is the fact is, is he's being picked despite being, what, fifth mm. choice centre-back for Manchester United? Even Luke play. Shaw would be played ahead of him at centre-back. Yes, it's a disgrace. What's happening right now is like, it's borderline corruption. Pundits. My, that's why I see it. And I want to know the pundit Tell me the pundit yes. that is that is Cussing Maguire in the Premier League. Do, name do the names. Know, name do we names. know? Wait, do we know it? Because I I can tell you like when with certain other players say okay, soon as gives these players a hard time and Bruno this that and the other. But who? What pundit has gone for Maguire week in week out? Mm -hmm. Do we know? No, that's right. the whole point. And, and Southgate's <laughs> argument is based on um, club uh, club versus country, as in uh, people are saying he shouldn't be playing for England because he's he's not playing for Manchester United. Mm -hmm. And ironically, Calvin Phillips has started four games for Man City since he went there yeah. he started four games for England in that time mm. that shows how what you do for your club makes yeah. no difference to Gareth Southgate it's ridiculous. at all it's at ridiculous all. even the, like you can say the funny thing is Henderson goes um, to Saudi, Saudi. yeah and all of a sudden, yeah, he's watching those performances and he's going to say, yeah, come on, Henderson, come back down. But then you think that players like Smolin, who, um, Tamori, who even won the, the, he won the league yeah. and he was never even looked at. Mm. So this is the issue. And now you're saying, well, you're not getting people in on merit. You're just saying, you know what, if I know you and I like you, you're going to play and, for me. And, and he's basing certain things on, again, on the club form. So he picks and chooses when club form matters. So yeah. they say, why do you not play Foden in the middle? He goes, well, Pep doesn't. It's like, well, mm. since when have you cared what Pep does? You you literally pick Calvin Phillips. Ange doesn't play Madison on the wing. Yeah. Madison was playing on the wing the other night. Exactly. Did. And as well, like, when you look at... I, I am actually, I wouldn't say a fan of Gareth Southgate, but I think that Gareth Southgate does get a lot of negative press in comparison to what we've seen of England managers in times gone by. But he contradicts himself constantly with that selection. And also... You know, when we look at the other the other centre-backs that are available, right? I made a case for Levi Colwell. Yeah, maybe you could say, okay, he plays for Chelsea. But there's other centre-backs that would have been available. Gareth Southgate's point that he said was we massively lack experience available to us in that in in uh, that position on the pitch. <coughs> okay, but how do you get experience? Because, you, don't, you know, you know, international experience, it doesn't just accumulate over time of sitting on the bench. You've got to play players. And in a match where, say, for example, you're rotating a little bit because we saw Lewis Dunk come in, why could you not have just left Harry Maguire on the bench for that match? And I think that's one of the things as well. We said this about Ten Hag sort of digging out Jadon Sancho, and I think it would apply here again. I think that in that situation there, Gareth Southgate knows that realistically, right, you played him against Ukraine, there was no need to bring him on. There was no need to bring him on at halftime. If you were going to do anything, if you were going to change anything in a match against Scotland, I think we're 2-0 up at the time, you could have brought maybe Levi Colwell on off the bench. You could have brought someone else on, Tomori on. 
Yet you want to bring him on to just go, that's my guy, by the way. We know. We know you, you fucking love you, him. We know you love point, him. Though, like, he's, he's doing it to, to show everyone, I will not be told what to do by you. Like, mm. I know what I'm doing. And clearly it backfired on him. And that's why. And when he has this hissy fit with the media, oh, he gets such an unfair run. Look, why is the pressure on Harry Maguire? Because he's at Manchester United. Mm. He had a chance to leave Manchester United. And he, he stayed. He stayed because, because he wanted Southgate. the money. No, because of Southgate. Yo, bang on. Bang he on. That's because of Southgate. Of Southgate. He stayed because of Southgate. Do you not think he's had a phone call with Southgate and gone, Don't worry, boss, mate. you see, uh, like, if I do stay, because obviously, you know, I don't really want this West Ham move, whatever. If I do stay, am I out? Uh, no, don't worry, Harry. Don't worry. It's not worry. Come on. It's 100% about money. It's 100% no, about money. He wants to be playing week in, week out. I'm telling you, yeah. It's all about money. You he didn't speak. want to take the buyout. But, but could it not be both? Uh -oh. Could it? Because they're not uh -oh. mutually exclusive. Uh -oh. I personally he was, think if Southgate turns round to says Harry Maguire to in that situation and says, "Mate, I can't be doing it no more unless you're playing. If you ain't playing, I can't really have you in the squad or I can't have you starting matches." It's a different I consideration. Think, I think that money, in terms of priorities, I think it shifts a lot. And then you go, "Do you know what? Maybe I will go to West Ham. Maybe I will look for a move elsewhere." But I think if you're given the reassurance by Southgate that you're going to play for England. No matter no what. No matter what. Can we remind... Uh, the money is a, the before, money's before a factor. Before Josh comes in, I just want to remind everyone, though, uh, that Manchester United did make an offer to see half of the remaining they, contract. They were going to pay 6.5 million. Okay, so... But he wanted the full amount remaining. And in that in that um, wiggle room there, if Southgate comes and leans you one way, it, it can have an impact Easy. on your decision. No, I'm telling wait, you... Wait you're telling me... So you're you, saying... So United have pushed him out of the club. They've yeah. stripped him of the captaincy. They've yeah. actively not played him. Yeah. He's got no allegiance to you at all. He's going to go, look, if you want to get rid of me, pay me off. No, he if you want to play he, football he's as never a professional. Gonna get the, he's never going to get the money ever again that he's on now I never ever again he's a footballer yes but he's also this is a job right no, but so he's going to go pay me off if you pay me off I'll happily go I'll leave he's the only player that literally he can play no matter what and that, that's got to be in your thought pattern so you, you can say you know I'll sit here on the bench Gareth Southgate is going to start me no matter what and that's in his thought pattern that's, you, that's in his thought pattern do, do, do you know what's worrying really worrying about this right do you know what the biggest credit that I would give Gareth Southgate despite the fact that he's done better with, um, with the international team than any manager in my lifetime or my conscious lifetime the biggest credit I would give him is walking into an international side at the, at the time coming in it was turbulent yeah things weren't going at all well and he brought a lot of harmony into the dressing room we feel more connected with that England squad than ever it looks like all the boys get on we saw after major international tournaments they went on holidays together regardless of what club they played for yeah. and now all of a sudden if I'm in that dressing room and I'm sitting there, especially if I'm a centre-back, for example, if I'm in that dressing room and I'm thinking, hold on, what is this fella doing in here ahead of me? That is a toxic environment to have in the dressing room and that could be something mm. that rears its ugly head. And I honestly think that the way that Harry Maguire has been able to be so resili uh, resilient know. in the face of adversity, I think that's commendable. You, you, yeah? You're all wrong. I think, I th you're all wrong because Harry Maguire said, everyone giving me shit actually makes everyone else play better. So that's where you're wrong. Yeah. The and pills. also, can we just talk about the fact, obviously I don't want to, in a respectful manner because, you know, it's his mum, but his mum came out, did you see that? Yeah. And wrote a that's statement, oh, leave my son a lot. What are we doing here? That was Seriously, she got onto the pundits as well. Name these people. Don't just for a blanket statement over everyone that is talking about your son's lack of of like footballing ability right now like actually call people out because it's, you're just hiding you're hiding behind it, it. Is, like uh, Gareth Southgate clearly if this is what you're saying either you've got someone on your mind or you're just saying it for saying it sake because you feel like mm. everyone's talking about Harry Maguire the reality is the guy's not playing well when he gets his chance and majority of the time he's not even playing so he should not be in your England setup. do you reckon he knows that she's doing that or do you reckon he sits there sees that she's come out and backed him publicly and he thinks oh mum what the fuck I Bro. think he's what are you doing? No, purpose? you know what? Yeah. Like my mum back me to be fair. No, but yo, listen, Love man, you need to. Um, <laughs> there's levels of mum coming out to back you, yeah. And when you're like, if you're like a young, tiny player, you know, like if I will say thirty, Saka, <laughs> like me. even Saka's a bit captain. old, but your club captain, Man United, your mum coming out and doing a statement. The brother's cool. Mm. It's the worst. Family thing. Ma your mum, the worst. Mm. Thirty years of age. Your mum. She's like in brackets. T's on the table. Yeah. as well when you're ready Harry yeah. no, like, no, what's no, going on no, like, no. Jaden Sanchez thinking thank God for Maguire's mum <laughs> <laughs> she's a 
take a bit of limelight off me. The elephant in the room, and look, the guy is not even, he's barely a Premier League defender, in my opinion. The guy's been shit for multiple years. It's not even mm. one or two, it's even more than that. He could have turned his career around at West Ham, though. He's yeah, terrible. I, I think, think if he harsh. went to West Ham, if he went to West Ham, I like it. I, I think he's decent. I think you just need How? to leave. <laughs> Decent. I think, in, I think not for Man United. I think it's like debate. an Alanga. It's yeah, like an Alanga. Uh, you leave and you're going to do well. No, no, Alang no. You can't make this many individual errors that consistently lead to your team losing matches. I'm not even talking. You don't about think you'd be good for West Ham? He is terrible. No, he's not. <laughs> like, oh, I think he's just bro, good on he's the ball. Wretched. That's it. The only the only good attribute he has is he's good on the ball and he's good at passing and kind of bringing the ball. I, Other than that, he can't I defend. Have, uh, this is the one thing. One right? on one, you can. I, I don't know how many it. mistakes that I've seen Harry Maguire make, and I say it this every time. Mm. And then he makes another mistake. And I'm right back here going, the guy's not even Premier League quality. This isn't and I the don't, best. This and isn't I'm always called harsh. So you guys are in this, the majority. This, this, this isn't the best He's counter. Terrible. This isn't the best counter to that argument. But there have been Premier League defenders that have made a career in the top flight that have been worse than Maguire. Tit Titus Bramble is probably worse than no, Maguire. That's, you know, see, <laughs> that, you see? The, thank you. I'm <laughs> so happy. You're good, I'm so, wait, you're good 20 years ago. And that's the scapegoat. That's, 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 wait, ago. that's the person, yeah. Well, that's Sanchez. That's what Maguire's mom should have said that's the person the media went for <coughs> if you talk about a player that even if he made any tackle they'd always say even the way they say Titus Bramble's name it sounded like a howler you know what yeah, I mean Titus <laughs> <I, laughs> Bramble that's such a Bramble moment no, but as, a, as a fan of the club Bramble played for right he was just like Maguire mm. dog shit mm. right oh he was dog shit no offence Titus we love you but Terrible, mm. wretched, horrific. No, but there was a. All right, today I'll, I'll accept that today. But there was a time where Harry Maguire was was a good defender. He was was that ever decent. at Manchester United? Ever? Never. Ever? Mm. No, I wasn't. Can I, can I it was say, for England, though. It was for England. That 2018 World Cup, he did very well. In that oh, and, penalty, and even and in the Euros, penalty, he did good penalty. Great he did penalty. Penalty. well. Well, now we just one. We last barely conceded gonna, goals at one stage of England. The one thing we can't say, but he's never let England down. Well, he fucking has now, you yeah. bricks. Yeah, but it was a nothing game, though. It was, it was a nothing a, game. It was a, it no, was but what a, I mean is that like, you're right. But when we've gone to tournaments, he's we we haven't conceded How many, many good goals. Teams do we play in these tournaments? So it's like, it, yeah. it, the minute we hit a good team, it's over. And you know the problem always Thank was you. with Maguire. Uh, before, say you're going back to, I mean, 2018 is playing good at that point. But even if you're going back to the World Cup, right, just gone, you're going, yeah, but who is there? Who is there really? And you could go, well, Gay, he's better. Tamori's better, and I would agree with it. But there wasn't like massive, massive standouts. But now you've seen how both of their two careers has gone on and the emergence of Levi Colwell I'm telling you now whether Chelsea are underperforming or not Levi Colwell would be much much better in that left centre back position alongside Stones for England and Maguire so now Burn. there's actually so would Dan Burn. so would uh, who he's played not, the other night he's there's not getting now your Man United joint team so you well, know there's that, that's actually that's players Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw would get him ahead of him yeah I, yeah. I play Luke Shaw mm. yeah. there's players there now that you can go you, well, hold you, on. you know what? what? This is the thing. It goes back to what we were saying earlier. It's like people's feelings and this mental health shit. Is, it, like, oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm sorry, but like <laughs> there when, goes another sponsor. When, when <laughs> if there's anyone who's talking about mental health, it's me. But the point is, is that there has to be some level of acceptance. We can't wrap people in bubble wrap. Yes. In in as Thank Premier you. League footballers. Thank they, you. You are a grown man, and you have a decision to make with your career. Do you want to be a Premier League footballer, or do you not want to be famous? Because there's plenty of other things you can do. When you become a Manchester United footballer, you are accepting mm. that for this amount of money, I am going to get a level of scrutiny that is going to be difficult. Yeah, difficult. And if you can't take that, get out of the can't, kitchen. Yeah. And yes, there's certain levels of things that are unacceptable when fans step the mark, where it gets too personal. But I'm talking about good old fashioned, you're not good enough type of criticism. And that is what Harry Maguire has been subjected to for years on end. He hasn't been anywhere near the level yep. of what he should have been. And yet he gets rewarded with the yep. England call-ups. He gets rewarded with it Lay by his wages every week and it's just a joke take that point. Gareth mm. a joke man so can, what do you think of it yeah, I did that no, <laughs> can, I, can I just say I, uh, I did a bit of research about the points oh, per game that we got for England when Maguire was playing and when he wasn't playing Ooh. what do you think it was. Do you think I got a lot, we got a lot of that, da that data is nowhere near. Rep I tell you what replicates data: Manchester United. That is week in, week out, top clubs in the world, Champions League football clubs. So you give me the Manchester United data, that's I'll accept you whatever need. you've got to say. And that's the data. Don't need. count. But we're playing farmers. Let me hear it. Let's hear it. I don't want to hear it. No, 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 I can give you an answer. Ninety percent of the time, it, we're playing farmers. It doesn't matter. It will be stacked in Maguire's favour, and the reason because of that is I feel like if Maguire isn't playing, I can guarantee you as well because he is one of the first on the team sheet that there's probably two or three other first names on the team sheet that aren't Bingo. playing so it'd be a heavily rotated side I think but your face tells me you're about to tell me that it's well, that I'm wrong it's interesting we get 
0.3 more points every game. So we're way, when he we're, does play. we're way more likely to win. Yeah, but then, but, 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 but then the argument to that is if you take Harry Maguire out of the team, knowing that you know that he is an absolute banker to start for Gareth Southgate, the chances are... Harry Kane also it, isn't yeah, started. The chances are he's maybe got Callum Wilson up front as good yeah. as I think he is. The chances are maybe Declan Rice doesn't play. Maybe John Stones doesn't play. It's a rotated team. Harry Kane and Ricky Sterling tax. Yeah, when he, when he comes out of that team. So I think, I think up until this point where Levi Cole has sort of pushed on and is now a senior level player, there hasn't really been a very good option on the left-hand side oh. of the centre-back pairing to replace him. So I understand why he has been Do you backed. think Harry Maguire's better than um, Smalling? Yeah. Really? He no. plays in the Premier League. Of course he is. No, play, yeah, of course I don't, he is. Can I come on? You don't, you don't I think, think Smalling. Smalling. You were happy for Smalling to go. Treated. Wait, you think Harry Maguire's better than you were, for Smalling? You were happy for Smalling this to go. Like like, this is like choosing between shit and vomit. <laughs> you, were happy, like, you, <laughs> you were happy. Like, I remember all the United fans, they were going, get rid of Chris Smalling and bring in Maguire. We thought this was going to be good, but I don't think, there was no one like, there's other defenders that we could have got rid of before Smalling. But I'm saying that, because we kept Phil Jones at the end of time. Mm. So I'm saying that I, even to this point, yeah, Chris Smalling's a better defender yeah. than Harry Maguire. Would have been I Chris Smalling's a, Chris in, Smalling's a better defender he, than he Harry Maguire. We're comparing shit way. and vomit. Why are we like, <laughs> this doesn't like, what, where, where, this is the kickoff. Why is the bar on this which low? Like, which, why are we which, talking about which? these, these, these I'm rub, just saying that you could have worked. has been. Like, no, but I'm saying that if you can go, if you can go and check out what Henderson's doing in Saudi, which you're doing now, because he's always going to play and he's going to check on how good his form is, that means you can go and look at what people are doing internationally and go and see what they're doing to bring those players in. Let's, Super let's, chat from Mrs. Maguire. <laughs> 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 